the what it sounds like to hear the sonification, like to hear what the earthquake sounds like, it's not clean. It's not like, oh, there's like this really nice pattern that's all going to whatever. It's, it's kind of like messy and it doesn't quite fit. Obviously, it's not like in time with the earthquake. And so I'm trying to get that effect without actually being out of time. I think Dylan and I have been looking a little more at visualization of earthquake waveforms as opposed to straight sonification of them. So this is really inspired by the vertical displacement map that they were showing. And as you push, again, that connection to the tether, to the drum is really important. So if you can get that one anchor hand and then this one hand out like this, and you'll hold it for a little bit. Three different approaches to one Playdate topic. To offer some background, our last work with George Coates, a collaborator for our 15th anniversary, was prematurely halted due to the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. A conversation with Zero One Biennial's lead curator, Jamie Austin, about data streams led to the idea of taking inspiration from that natural event. Most are familiar with the technology of the seismograph, which shows a visual measure of earthquake activity. The following clip uses the audio, or sonified, seismic data that was digitally converted from the devastating earthquake in Tohoku, Japan. The immediate response is an emotional one for obvious reasons. Cold hard data converted into audio to create something of a vocal expression of the earth. It seemed worth exploring further, but we would need guidance through the information in order for our performing members to find meaningful connections to the material. Dr. Michael Feenan is a PhD with the United States Geological Survey and former San Jose Tycho member who now lives in Madison, Wisconsin. He once described earthquakes as the planet's reminder to us that it is alive. With his unique perspectives as a scientist and Tycho performer, I thought he'd be an effective guide through this information. Our first Playdate session consisted of a Skype video conference where Dr. Feenan was able to break down the basics of earthquakes and seismic information. What came out of that was a brainstorming session that resulted in ideas ranging from the mimicking of earthquake sound qualities to visual representation of the types of waves that cover the planet during any earthquake. Dylan Solomon, Alex Hudson, and myself have taken three different approaches to this material. Dylan explains so his piece. When we bring that sort of data up into a range that we can hear, a lot of the sounds and things that are coming out um, be become very rhythmic and uh, drum drum-like. And so I, I thought that was very interesting, and I wanted to kind of pursue that, taking those kinds of patterns and those sounds and the way that they overlap uh, and try to recreate that sound um, through a song. I have been interested, I, at least I'm recently focused on sounds, and I really did like the idea of um, the range of possibilities of taking uh, natural sounds and, and finding order or, or taking ordered sounds and making them sound as though they were chaotic. Uh, I like that idea, and I like um, pulling those kinds of things together or having that tension. I think the biggest challenge is striking that balance between uh, making something sound like this earthquake data and making it sound like a song that, that would be worth listening to because it's, it's not really about just recreating on a drum exactly what I, what I hear in the recording uh, of the particular earthquake sample. Uh, and it shouldn't really be about that, um, but the song should still, without the audience ever knowing what, an, what that original data sounds like, the song needs to sound like an earthquake. It needs to evoke that image um, for the audience. And so that, cha that challenge of uh, getting that right, striking the balance between the creativity uh, and being faithful to the concept that I'm trying to get across, um, that's always the biggest challenge. Stay tuned for other perspectives from this playdate on seismic sonification as we continue to explore our production of Rhythm Spirit 2012, Tycho and Technology. Music